Hey guys, quick back in Mr. Basics here. Let's talk about Relative Centrifugal Force or RCF. Let's say you drop an object on Earth. Because of Earth's gravity, the free-falling object would have an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second square. The acceleration of 9.8 meters per second square is simply termed as 1g acceleration. Let's assume that you drop an object on moon. In this case, the object will accelerate at 1.6 meters per second square. Now let's compare this acceleration with acceleration due to gravity on Earth. So the relative acceleration can be calculated as the ratio of acceleration due to gravity on moon and the acceleration due to gravity on Earth. If we substitute the value, then it becomes 1.6 meters per second square divided by 9.8 meters per second square, which comes to 1 by 6. Now watch carefully. The unit meters per second square gets cancelled on both the sides. As a result, the value 1 by 6 is a unitless number. However, it is expressed as 1 by 6 g. Remember, your g is not the unit. It simply says the relative acceleration on moon is 6 times less than that of Earth. Let's take another example. Suppose you drop an object on Jupiter. Then it will accelerate at 24.7 meters per second square. This means the relative acceleration on Jupiter is 2.5 times more as compared to Earth. Thus, relative acceleration compares how fast or slow the object accelerates when it is compared with Earth's gravitational acceleration. Okay, now let's talk about centrifuge. The rotor in centrifuge undergoes rotational motion. Now, when an object rotates, there is a change in angle with respect to time. And the change in angle per unit time is termed as angular velocity. Angular velocity is denoted as omega and it is expressed as omega is equal to theta by t. Here theta is the angle and t is the time. Now one complete revolution equals 360 degrees which is equal to 2 pi radians. So the equation now becomes omega is equal to 2 pi by t. Now 1 by t is frequency f. So omega is equal to 2 pi f. Now the question is, what is the frequency of centrifuge? In centrifuge, the rotational motion of rotor is measured as RPM, which is number of revolutions per minute. Notice this carefully. RPM is almost same as frequency. The only difference is that RPM is measured in terms of minutes, whereas frequency is measured in terms of second. RPM is number of rotations per minute and frequency is number of rotations per second. So RPM divided by 60 is frequency F. So omega is equal to 2 pi into bracket RPM divided by 60. Now acceleration in centrifuge is given as r omega square. Here r is the distance from the rotating axis. Force is the product of mass and acceleration. So force in centrifuge is equal to m r omega square. The force due to gravity will be mg. So the relative centrifugal force rcf 
is equal to force in centrifuge divided by force due to gravity. This is equal to mR omega square divided by mg. So RCF is equal to R omega square divided by G. Now remember, as both the sides have the unit of force, both of them cancels each other. So relative centrifugal force RCF is a unitless number. It doesn't have any dimension. To memorize this concept easily, you can imagine RCF as the force in centrifuge divided by force due to gravity on Earth. Now suppose the acceleration of particle in centrifuge is 9.8 meters per second square. Then this will be simply denoted as g. If the acceleration is 196 meters per second square, then it is indicated as 20 g. If it is 1960 meters per second square, then it is denoted as 200 g. Again remember, your g is not the unit. It is written just to compare the centrifugal force with the gravity on Earth. Now the next question is how can we measure the acceleration of particle in centrifuge? Well, acceleration of particle in centrifuge depends on its RPM. So let's substitute omega in the equation of RCF. So RCF becomes equal to R by G into bracket 2 pi RPM by 60 squared. If we calculate this, then we get RCF is equal to R by G 4 pi square RPM square divided by 3600. Now you have to be careful while putting the value of R and G. If R is measured in meters, then take the value of G as 9.8 meters per second square. If R is measured in centimeters, then take the value of G as 980 centimeters per second square. If R is measured in millimeters, then take the value of G as 9800 millimeters per second square. In case if we take the value of G in centimeters, then the calculated value of RCF becomes 1.11 into 10 raised to minus 5 R into RPM square. As discussed earlier, the value of RCF is a dimensionless number. However, it is expressed in the terms of G. Your G is not the unit. It simply indicates how powerful the centrifugal force is when compared to gravitational force on Earth.